going on guys this is true reef and this is the update on the 200 gallon jabora reef tank uh, as you can see uh, all the cyano has pretty much either been removed or dying and um, I, I took it that's that's what i had to do so once i did a water change i pretty much uh cleared it all out the little, little bit that was left and as you can see it's still a little back there it has came back through but for the most part it is done uh the tank is extremely clear as you can see the glass as well um then had all that the uh, algae that was on the front and these corals are looking amazing so i did um do something or a uh, calc for some of the bigger um aptasias that i had I'm still looking forward to buying a um, Aptasia, Aptasia eating fowl fish. And uh, right now I just haven't seen one in my local fish store, which I do not want to order one from offline. So I'm going to wait on that, come through the fish store, and then I'll get it. And they know I'm looking for one, so they'll let me know. Um, uh, hammerhead, I said hammerhead, well, that one head, but that hammer coral, that Duncan coral, and this torch is looking amazing. Um, it is getting a, a pretty decent amount of flow now. Uh, like I said, I did crank this uh, power head up. I used to have it on Chris mode, which is a, a Jabor PP20. I had it on Chris mode, which means it'll go stop. It'll go stop for almost like a minute or so. And I felt like that's the reason why the cyano got back there, was because of the low flow. So what I just did was just turn it on the pulse mode. That way it's constantly flowing through. And it's not much, but um, it's going to be hopefully helpful enough to keep that cyano from building up. And with that being said, the bonsai coral looks good. White widow, the stag horn here, blue tip stag, that yellow, yellow tip paletta looks great. It's growing good, and the digi, of course, and that that um, what is that? The millipore, the Judge Judy millipore. I'm hoping that it pulls through. All the fish are doing pretty decent, except the um, one of my clownfish. I don't know where it is. I haven't seen it in the tank. Uh, nothing has popped. I, I don't see anything on the floor. I'm not sure what happened to it. It was a little big, so I mean, if it did, it definitely would have caused a spike in nutrients, but I don't know, maybe the tank is handling it pretty decent. Um, Chalice corals. My, what is that? Fabia. Eight cans. And oh uh, yeah, so my dog chewed up my uh, what is it called the, the aquarium vacuum the long one that I had so as you can see I missed this spot but it was because it's, the new one that I bought is like that wide and it, if anything it would cover that whole entire piece just to go over and it, it does drain the tank much quicker so I'm happy about that but being that it is wider I'm going to have to figure out another re or another way to get around my corals that's, our, that's on the sand bed other than moving them out the way so anyway uh, war coral looking good as you can see the lobo back there it done finally split so it's looking pretty decent looking better now with different heads like i said i did turn that the wrong way but hopefully it all comes through that uh cyphastria doing good it's finally growing onto the rock monty and this mystic monty let's see if we can get a clear view on it but yeah it's going pretty decent like I said, all my monsters are doing good. There's uh, other green monty with white polyps growing like crazy. And uh, this, of course, this uh, orange monty that I have tons of. And the colors are amazing. I'm going to have to get those rocks off of them. Uh, it's that fish. The damsel does it. I don't know what's wrong with him. But anyway, he clears out this little area. I guess that's his sleeping hole. But anyway, um, my pink lemonade looks pretty decent definitely growing and i'm hoping that snail doesn't knock it off uh, it is glued down pretty decent but you never know with snails white widow it's finally based out all over that plug and it's going to come down actually it is coming down Let's see but anyway um i don't know what that core is called if you guys know let me know it's supposed to be green which is not anymore cat's paw in the back is doing pretty decent i think i showed you that the letters the yellow tip paletta 
my Poison Envy looks pretty decent, but um, it's kind of washed out right now. Let's see if I can. Well, but anyway, that's the metal highlight for you. Uh, that look green frag is doing good. Everything right here is doing pretty decent, especially that uh, that uh, Aqua Delight is growing amazing. The colors are not there, not yet, but it is growing amazing, and it does look fine. It's like a pastel pink with uh, like red polyp, so it is it, doing good. So. No need to mess with it. I might end up putting it under the, um, or maybe fragging it and putting the piece under the LED, see what it looks like, what it color ups to be. Achinata, of course, the Aptasia that I missed, the bicolor frog spawn, doing amazing. Looks good. The Favia, the Aiken Garden, that one is right now sucked in, don't know why. This one does look doing pretty decent. Of course, all of those. That one's out, happy now. And that one, of course, got new heads growing on it, so it's definitely happy. Going back up this rock, we got this stag here. It's right now, all it's doing is coloring up. It was like a brown when I first got it. But it's definitely coloring up now. The RRV and coral. It's definitely looking good. Growing, basing out all over. Priscillapora, which I think that's probably not the best spot for that. Now that I have that vent coral and my Eflo right here beside it. Sorry about my shirt. But um I don't know. And then that in the back that I will get. My Satosa is doing good. White Widow Frag. Uh, of course the damsel. I read the Judge Judy Millie. Pink. I think this is the strawberry shortcake, not pink lemonade. It's strawberry shortcake. It's growing pretty decent. It's looking good. Of course, that piece back there, the Pasilipora, the green digi that I got. Uh, I got it for 10 bucks. It's cheap, so I bought it. Um, the Eflo. I really didn't want any more green corals, but uh, it was, like I said, it was cheap. A digi. I like digis. I like munchies. And so, and I, so I got it. Um, this Eflo is growing amazing. It has started to touch the rock, as you can see. But um, the colors are on the back, but they're not on the front part yet. But it does look good. Polyps are out, looking extremely happy. That, another piece of that uh, Judge Judy Millie, I, I fragged it up like four times. I got pieces all over the tank. Pieces of that yellow, uh, yellow tip. Orange Digi frag. My Miyagi Tort is doing better since it fell inside my um, it was originally here, but it fell inside the, the Monty. And uh, it didn't do too good on the back. Let's see if you can get it. But you can see the little depth of the back of it. But it's doing better. So it's definitely doing better. You see my uh, yellow bennet coral from that side. It looks pretty decent. I mean, it's growing extremely fast. Because the yellow bennet, the red bull here, and I believe the um, the uh, Aqua Delight were all put in at the same time. And as you can see, the yellow bending is much better. But I'm gonna get those bubble algaes out the bottom. It's all part of having a reef tank. You would have to clean algaes, all kinds. But anyway, I'm not sure what kind of monster this is, but it's starting to color up pretty decent. And it's definitely growing. Another piece of that uh, White Widow. Of course, Pacific poor for days. Nobody wants it, I mean, I never tried to sell it, but I say nobody wants it. Because everybody, if anybody knows this, the silk pearl grows like crazy. But anyway, uh, Duncan's, those Duncan's? Candy canes. Candy canes are doing good. I did just run by with the, uh, the glass cleaner, so it probably messed them, uh, have them kind of sunk in in two of these parts, but it's definitely like a beach ball almost. Those are the mushrooms, the bubble coral, my uh, Rambo Fabia. Doing pretty decent as well. Growing nice. Of course, bubble algae is everywhere. But um, it's a good snack for my South and Tang. Which, uh, where is he? There he is. So he likes the bubble algae. He eats it. And it definitely keeps him healthy because he definitely looks good. And uh, all the other guys look pretty decent as well. Like I said, that one clownfish that I'm missing, my Vanguard Cardinals are still in there. I need to add more fish and that's my goal. But anyway, uh, 
with that being said, this is True Reef, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.